Our experiences from climate change and damage from recent flooding has engineers and planners concerned about the endurance of our roads and bridges. This very issue has influenced a science project from the Blashak Combined School. A team of science students there have designed what they believe would be a solution to the constant loss of bridges. Here is Tamika James with that project description. Science is the poetry of reality. We can do science and with it we can improve our lives. Combined School and here we have a floodproof floating bridge. The bridge is made of hollow metal. Hollow metal is a type of metal that is strong and light. And our project is about when the waters of the flood rise, the bridge will rise and debris will pass freely under it and it will not congest so the bridge will not be washed away. And we have an alarm to alert the drivers that the bridge is rising and it is closed. And the bridge is floating on buoyancy and the, we have gable baskets to prevent soil erosion and to keep the poles steady. Good day, my name is Precious Joseph and this is my partner Yasna Trim and we are from the Canon Laurie Anglican Primary School. The name of our science project is Thermal Electric Generator. Okay. Our science project is about can a Peltier unit, when cooled on one side and heated on the other side, be able to generate its own electricity. A Peltier unit is a device made up of several semiconductors, the N-type and the P-type. The full name is the N-doped bismuth telluride pellet and the P-doped bismuth telluride pellet. Thermal electric is heat energy transformed into electricity. You can find a Peltier unit in a mini cooler or in the CPU of your computer. For demonstration, we tried out, we tried to make a heat powered toy car. We added a motor and a propeller on top of it. Then we heated our Peltier unit and then it began to transform the heat energy to electrical energy. Then the motor began shifting the propeller around. But un unfortunately, our car did not move, so we came up with a new idea. We tried the Peltier unit on similar devices such as a horn, a DC light, and a motor. It was successful with the horn and the motor, but it was unsuccessful with the DC light because a Peltier can only um, charge up a a battery with on one volt and and it was more than one volt it was 12 volts so it was unsuccessful yes. our conclusion was that the Peltier units can charge small devices but not devices higher than one volt science replaces private prejudice with publicly verifiable evidence there's real poetry in the real world Science is the poetry of reality. We can do science, and with it, we can improve our lives. That brings us to the end of our focus for today on the National School Science and Technology Fair. We have more projects to feature in our final installment tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. You've been watching Calabash Community, and I am Budet Fanis. Join us again on Calabash TV for another edition.